Hey everybody, welcome back to the hobby room here. I just I wanted to show the Barracuda since it's finished. So I got it sitting on the desk here. Hold on a second while I uh, change this camera. Okay, had to get the camera in front of the car. Um, I think it's, yeah. Anyway, this is it and I really like it. I think it came out nice and it's not a color that I would normally use but I think it really fits um, it's a it's a splash color it's called uh, beige gray and it looks way more tan than gray to me but what I did is I I shot some red pearl on top of it and it, it's hard to see but it just gives it a nice effect when you do see it Let's see if I can get close maybe it'll show up I'm not sure yeah, you can see a little bit right here in the on the top of the door. Sorry for my camera work here. Yeah, it it doesn't show much, but it just just enough that when the you know you get it in the right light, you can see it. So I, I'm real happy with the way it turned out. It gave me some. Some trouble with getting the, all four wheels on the ground, but I think I pretty much got it now. I had to cheat a little bit. Well, I'll show you the front. That's just the stock grill. I just de-chromed it and painted it. I think I painted it with stainless. And then just a little black wash and some clear orange on the, on the lenses, turn signal lenses. And the decals are just our slicks decals, and I I had a whole bunch of these sheets with this you know, the flag from the old, from the rod shop cars. I don't know how I ended up with so many of them. I think I had a couple Ronnie socks and a couple Don Carlton um, Dodge Colt sheets, and that I hadn't used or used pieces off of them. So I wanted to use these up, and I think the red looks good. The red you know flag kind of matches with the the tan and the red pearl. So all, all together, I think it works pretty good. And the back end. The bumpers I just painted with, um, I believe it was the Spaz Sticks chrome paint. Which I, I gotta get some new chrome paint. That Spaz Sticks isn't, it isn't really working the way it used to. And I did the uh, decal Zeus buttons on this one. I didn't want to use up all my photo etched ones. I don't know why I'm saving them for something else, but so I had some decals for Zeus fasteners, so I stuck them on there. And it's got a hammy. Wire, plug wires, not really much more detail, just plug wires. Kind of hard to see inside, but it's, you know, basically the standard Pro Mod chassis pan with a scratch built roll cage just like most everything I build and the wheels wheels are resin tires are resin underneath nothing fancy but it looks good on the shelf like I said I'm I'm really happy with it I'm surprised for a, a what what I would call a drab color it looks looks really cool to me anyway and a little quick update on the um, Datsun I think I said before that I decided to chop the top well I wanted to put some Bondo in it just to see if to see if it was going to work or not and my pieces didn't quite fit together perfect here so I'm going to have to build that in with Bondo but I can sculpt it I think and there's a lot of sculpting on the on the top because the pieces didn't match up but I think now now that I got a little bit of Bondo on it, it looks looks okay I think it's gonna work and I started making a chassis for it scratch built I'm copying it from the Vell Pro Sportsman here just kinda shrunk it down a little bit to fit this car but I going along the same same lines 
and I had a little better luck this time getting it keeping everything square that's usually my problem and I kind of jigged it up in, on the cutting mat with some pins to hold everything in place while I glued it together and it seems all right so if I get the pins out yeah you can see it's it pretty much sits flat And it's pretty square like I said much much better than the, what I usually do so I'm gonna keep working at it and still trying to come up with my next project for to have two cars going at once but I'll come up with something and when I do I'll show you all okay thanks for watching